This is a short documentary on the history of the Luftwaffe gravity knife. It all started with the foundation of the Nazi German Luftwaffe in 1935. The newly established and revolutionary airborne branch formed a part of the Luftwaffe and thus it is not surprising that the aircrew members and paratroopers partially received the same equipment. One of these items was the gravity knife, which was initially designed as a rescue knife. As such, it served several purposes. The most important one was to provide the capability of immediately being able to cut yourself out of the parachute harness or aircraft seatbelts in an emergency. Getting entangled in the parachute lines in the water or in a tree, for example after an emergency exit, was another danger. The knife's single-handed opening mechanism was designed especially for these type of situations. In addition to this, the heavy metal head could be used as a hammer to break the cockpit windows after a crash landing. In fact, one source even states that these knives were used to cut through the aluminium sheets of the aircraft hull to allow exiting the aircraft. As the Fallschirmjäger were trained to pack their own and also their supply parachutes, they required a special tool to untie knots in the shroud lines. Thus, the gravity knife was equipped with a spike, which also came in quite handy as a multi-purpose tool, for example to remove cartridges from jammed guns and cannons. The few existing photographs often show these knives being used peacefully, for example as bread or sausage knives, although for sure they also acted as close combat weapons already in the early years. The primary role as a rescue knife changed around the time the Type 2 model was introduced. The fixed design of the early version did not provide the opportunity for any proper maintenance or repair work. The 1943 design change tried to overcome these shortcomings by allowing the easy disassembly of the knives. As the fighting on the Eastern Front was slowly getting fiercer and fiercer, the Waffen-SS introduced the so-called Fliegerkappmesser as a combat knife. Centralized stocks were kept on company or battalion level and were handed out to the leading platoons before an attack. One source clearly states that they were used by the SS Panzergrenadier Division Leibstandarte Adolf Hitler during the early hours of the Battle of Kursk in July 1943. Especially in the tight trenches of the fortified positions, the knife proved its superior combat value. Due to its minimal size and low weight, it was much faster to deploy and use than the cumbersome and often fixed bayonets. For the exact same reasons, it was decided to issue the gravity knife to the soldiers of the newly established 1st Skijäger Brigade in early 1944. The 1st Skijäger battalions were ski mobile infantry units which assaulted enemy targets of high operational value behind the Russian lines. In August 1943, the Army Supreme Command ordered their consolidation to the 1st Skijäger Brigade and gave its 15,000 soldiers the best equipment and weapons available at that time. Substantial parts of this equipment served the purpose to reduce weight in order to increase the soldier's ski mobility. The compact gravity knife could be carried on a webbing belt and thus hardly impeded the ski runners while it was still easily accessible. The surrender of the Wehrmacht on the 8th of May 1945 did not mark the end of the gravity knife's history. In both parts of the post-war Germany it was decided that it was a necessary piece of equipment that was to be kept in service. In West Germany only the airborne units were to receive the newly developed Type 3 knives around 1958. As the parachutes were now packed by specially trained rigger platoons only, the spike was not necessary anymore, which initiated a new design approach. However, the new design did not prove to be very reliable and thus it was decided to issue the 1943 Type 2 knife again only a year or two later. From that time, very interesting trial versions are known, among them were the dagger blade knife and a model with the enlarged metal head, which was later implemented with 1970s and 1980s Type 4 knives. These knives were then issued to paratroopers and tank soldiers until 2017. The West German company Icon Solingen came up with the last version of the Luftwaffe gravity knife in 1979. The so-called AES-79 is sold until today under the current name LL-80 or LL-100. 
the Swiss Air Force equipped their Mirage pilots with this model in 1983. These AES-83 knives bear the number of the assigned aircraft on the metalhead. On the other side of the Iron Curtain, in East Germany, remaining stocks of broken World War II gravity knives were fixed and reissued to the pilots, paratroopers, pathfinders, but also to the combat divers in the 1950s. This was mainly due to the constant scarcity of resources in the Russian occupation zone. After the World War II stocks were used up, a total number of approximately 5,000 new knives were produced. These can be identified by the special shape of the metal head. The fixed blade KM-66 fighting knife replaced the gravity knife in the mid-1960s. Remaining stocks were used up by the jump schools of the paramilitary youth organization GST until the mid-1970s. This was the end of the gravity knife in the eastern part of Germany.